Okay, so uh, continuing work on my uh, project here. Switching gears, and now I'm working on the, uh, the twist wrist attachment. So this is the uh, first bit here. Just finished getting these welded in. That is hot, uh, still. So I'm gonna let these cool down. But of course with the uh, welding, it took a little bit of a bow. Not much, but a little bit, so I'll have to straighten those out. I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. Um, so, now I have to make those kind of look something like this. Uh, so what I'm uh, planning to do, I'm just kind of making things up as I go here. I think I'm gonna take some pipe to bridge in between there, seeing as there won't be a shaft going straight through there, like there is on this one, which adds a little bit of strength, I guess. This will add a little bit more, add a fair bit of rigidity because uh, on the side of this thing is going to be the, uh, the, the cylinder that tilts the twist wrist thingamajigger. So that's the plan right now. I'm going to chop out some pipe and uh, make it exactly seven inches so I get my measurements dialed right in. I'll probably true that up on the lathe so that everything goes straight and flat. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so. Let's chop some steel here. All right, so got my pieces of pipe cut here. They're in there slightly loose. Cut them slightly undersized so I'd have a little bit of room to, a uh, little bit of room to play with. And I've got these uh, couple spacers here actually. Precision machine those to seven inches exactly. So uh, that spaces and holds everything square and uh, with a square in there, everything fits up really nicely. So, very happy with that. Uh, so now we weld. Let's get the welder going here. We'll get this trued up. Actually, it looks like that moved slightly on me. I got to uh, bang that side back just slightly to square it up. So, we'll do that and weld. Excellent. Okay, so uh, continuing to work. Now I'm working on the other half of the uh, twist wrist. So that would be the uh, ears here. I had uh, two sets that I got from Ritchie Brothers that uh, were three quarter inch material. This is one of them. Uh, the other one, I, I thought I'd use it kind of as is, but um, turns out the center to center distance wasn't really that great and I wasn't happy with the weld detail on it. So uh, I'm gonna redo it entirely. So I've chopped it apart. And, uh, and of course, cutting them apart allowed me to stick them together, tack weld them, and then I can drill the pair of them together. So that's what we got here. I've got my, uh, my piece that I made sitting on top of the other two that I've got welded together. And worked out real easy. It just took a spare cutoff that I had here and dropped that in nice and tight and then was able to sweep that with an indicator and center up on it exactly and then I tried using a worn out hole saw which didn't work so well and busted a tooth jammed it and snapped the arbor off in the mill and that's even with back and the belts right off I thought I'd have anyway way too good a grip with that thing anyway uh, anyway it's evening stores are closed I'll have to go in in the morning so we will catch up with you when we've got a little bit more done. All right, got my hole saw, got my arbor, punched it out, bored it out. So now we have a nice round hole, nicely positioned there. As I drop stuff on my toes. So now I'll just uh, chop that off there, open that up a little bit, and uh, we can reassemble these things. Yeah, it worked out real nicely. Took a while, but anyway, it's worth doing. 